Hello, and thank you for allowing me to present on VR training. My name is Greg Trinell, and I am very excited to present on such an advancement in maritime training and education. Maritime simulation is not a new subject for me. I have personally set up Kongsberg and Vardzilla simulators, and have had first-hand experience with simulation providers throughout the world. I am quite passionate on the subject of full mission simulation because in my 20 plus years in the field of maritime education and specifically my work with the Navigation Skills Assessment Program, I can safely state that there has not been a better tool to date of ensuring and measuring proficiency of a mariner. Training is going through a sea change. Expectations and behaviors have changed, the world has evolved, and digital transformation has accelerated. We must keep pace in order to optimize technologies that are aligned with this extraordinary evolution and meet the expectations and needs of our present and future mariners, as well as accommodating the exacting requirements of navigational standards. As spending is constrained, return on investment demanded, and skill development needed, we know virtual reality has untapped potential to address all three. To date, the advancements in the technology have often been misrepresented by enthusiastic development community who have failed to align VR with business needs, giving the impression of gimmick over beneficial solution. This perception of virtual reality needs to change as we evolve our thinking around the present and future needs of maritime training. In the world of aviation, health, engineering, construction, and many others, mainstream use of VR is not news. Inexplicably, in maritime, paradigm shifts have yet to happen, ensuring as an industry we have yet to fully embrace the technological advances of VR, which can offer tangible benefit to workforce development if some of our traditional thinking could just be overcome. Here at Merex, and in association with our content partner, Kilo Solutions, we have embraced the power of digital technology and developed BASCO, the maritime industry's virtual reality bridge training environment. Combining Marex's deep specialist navigational training knowledge with Kilo's development capabilities, our focus has been on optimizing VR to not only train mariners on the what, but within the experiential and multi-user experience of VR, show them the how. Basco offers a portable, affordable, and immersive experience with a genuine sense of being there and where the complexity of training is adjusted by the remote facilitator appropriate to the participant's need. Building individual and team capability within this collaborative environment is a major step change in our ability to deliver contemporary training for all. The technology now allows the facilitator to host immersive content of this nature on a normal PC and via a domestic broadband connection. The user simply connects pre-designated IP address via their wireless headset and the benefits begin. So let's take a look. Please enjoy this short promo film of Vasco. Welcome to Vasco the maritime industry's virtual reality bridge training environment. This technology now permits you to develop your bridge team in the comfort of their own environment, irrespective of location. Simply by donning an untethered headset, we place individuals at the heart of bridge operations. The sense of being there is immediate. Focusing on BRM and coal regs, pre-planned exercises are coordinated by remote facilitation where complexity is scaled appropriate to the need. Captain and navigator briefings to the bridge team permit clarity of role and responsibility for all. ECTUS is monitored, radar interrogated, and the helm controlled. As the transit begins, so does skill development and competence assessment. Navigational instincts are developed as situations evolve and complexity increases. Underway in a virtual environment offers phenomenal savings in cost and time, whilst accelerating procedural understanding aligned to your need. We look forward to helping you embrace the new world for maritime training. Although it is impossible for you to understand the immersive environment of VR, 
I will do my very best by stepping on the bridge with you. So let's get on board the VR Navigator. Welcome to Vasco, the Maritime Sector's Virtual Reality Bridge Training Environment. So as you can see here, I have my Polaris ahead of me. This is my heads up display. Let's move over to the helm position. This is Gretchen, my helmsman. We're heading outbound. Looks like we're at a course of about due north. Let's go over and look at the radar here. Target coming down uh, my port bow. And I've got another target coming in from the starboard side. Let's look at the uh, electronic chart, shall we? I'm going to be making a turn around that second buoy uh, there on our starboard side. So let's check out the binocular view. And everything's looking pretty good. Let's go out here on the bridge wing. This is really uh, amazing. This is really what differentiates the virtual reality world. We can look not only ahead of us, behind us, but also we can look below us. And just think of the application as we do docking exercises. Back to the Ectus. Looks like things are progressing well here. And it looks like we're about ready to make our course change. So let's go back to the helm position. Starboard 20. Starboard 20. This is a pretty substantial turn to starboard here. So let's make sure we stay in our lane. And let's go full ahead. And this concludes our VR demonstration titled Vasco, brought to you by Kilo Solutions in association with the Merex Group. So let's wave goodbye to Gretchen, our helmsman, and wish everyone fair winds and following seas. Immersive experience is almost an understatement, and the two-dimensional representations that we are showing do not do this justice. You will not understand until you place your Oculus 2 headset on and are transported on the bridge. Your bridge team is there with you and the audio is just about perfect, even though your helmsman may be located in the UK and your captain located in Norway. Acknowledging that VR has had a bumpy start in the industry whilst it went through its evolving phases, it is now well beyond that and has the potential to becoming mainstream in maritime. Unequivocal data is demanding that we ignore it no more. Recent statistics from PwC, Harvard Business Review, UCLA, and many others all point to the solid business benefit of reductions in travel, cost, well-being, but also in cognitive learning outcomes in retention, recall, and overall confidence that have become data positive indicators. As training and operational directors are being presented with hard and soft skill shortfalls, VR is being utilized to support improvements in safety procedures, productivity, whilst achieving more for less via superior technology and increasing overall business advantage. The market continues to scale and forecasts suggest year-on-year -year growth, knowing that the technology is only going to get better. It is widely recognized that VR is one of the greatest disruptive innovations of our time and is seen as the next generation of unified communications, with the training sector only just starting to recognize its potential. The capability is only limited by the imagination, and part of the aim of VASCO is to present a minimum viable product that stimulates debate and raises questions around the art of the possible in order to ensure that it is tailored to the bespoke needs of our clients. It's okay though for me to sit here and tell you how good it is, but in truth, the only genuine way to experience the power of VR is by donning a headset and experience the benefits of the tech firsthand. They will become immediately apparent as will an abundance of questions and ambition. Leaving with a couple final thoughts, nobody instinctively demands VR but they do want the solution that it can deliver. We need to get on board. And let's not discount the significant reduction in our carbon footprint as we embrace an age of VR solutions. Thank you again for this opportunity.